Hi everyone, we have a full moon in Cancer on the 6th of January 2023. It's the first full moon of the new year. Um, with every full moon, we have Sun and the Moon opposing each other, obviously. The luminaries are opposing each other. In this case, we've got the Moon in 16 degrees of Cancer and the, uh, the Sun in Capricorn, 16 degrees of Capricorn. Um, so psychologically, in terms of astrological uh, translation, let's say, um, this is a moment of culmination, completion, some things coming to an end, closing some chapters, closures. Uh, but also areas of our lives shining lighter, you know, light shining on certain areas of our life that we need to pay attention to. So have a look where 16 degrees of Cancer falls in your chart, because this is the area of your life, this house of your chart, um, that will actually require most attention and some things may actually be revealed, may come up to surface, okay? So um, with full moon in Cancer, we have very strong emphasis on uh, emotional but also a uh, practical security cancer is all about nurturing energy showing empathy mm, this is about uh, motherly energy helping others emotions running high very soft very emotional um, uh, sign and um, so I would say that as with every full moon emotions are running high anyway uh, statistically we can see that in hospitals the biggest amount of accidents happen around the full moon so we, we, we have a tendency to be more tense and uh, you know charged with energy uh, that can be uh, manifested both in a positive or negative way um, however with this one I think there's even stronger uh, emphasis on emotions the cancerian energies of nurturing emotions emotions, longing energies, reflections, etc. Um, these two luminaries, Sun and Moon, are going to be squared by Chiron on the day of the full moon. Uh, Chiron. Squared by Chiron. Luminary squared by, squared by Chiron. So I think attention may be brought to people that need healing. There may be something about unconventional methods of healing. People that are underprivileged, uh, weak, ill. It's about healing solutions. Um, some alternative healing solutions may be found around that date as well. Um, what I find interesting, uh, around the time of the full moon, we have um, Jupiter recently having entered Aries. That happens once every 12 years. Aries is the first uh, sign of the zodiac, obviously, and Jupiter entering Aries is amazing for any kind of initiative, uh, for ent uh, showing your entrepreneurial skills, for um, in independent action, fighting for what you believe is about designing the new you <laughs> in the beginning of the new year. Uh, so that's actually fantastic. Last time, historically, when we had Jupiter in Aries in 2011, it was time of the Arab Spring. Um, so amazing time, you know, to fight for what you believe, fight for what you want, for what you love, showing strength, independence, initiative. This is Jupiter in Aries for you um, until about mid of the year. Uh, I think we could really use it amazingly well, especially those people that um, have fiery elements in their chart as um, uh, Jupiter in Aries is very fiery. Uh, so that's the important one. Also, we have Mars out of bound. Mars is still in retrograde motion in Gemini. Out of bounds means that um, its manifestation is even stronger, but this energy can go both ways, obviously, it can go two ways, and uh, it very much depends on us. It can either be manifested as um, warlike energy, aggressive energies, but also, you know, a recognition of civil rights, individual rights. However, we can also put emphasis on feelings of sovereignty and fighting for what we believe, for what we want, manifesting what we want. So, um, as with every astrological aspect, energies can be um, used, um, you know, utilized in a certain way. Um, why not utilize them in a peaceful way? <laughs> So beautiful full moon, I think, uh, with strong emphasis on motherly, nurturing, emotional energies, but also this uh, Jupiter in areas in the background, uh, you know, pushing us towards starting new projects, taking initiatives and showing our courage and strength. Thanks very much. See you next time.